Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Let's start this session with a small experiment. First, we'll consider two bodies, out of which one is cold and the other is hot. Then, we'll bring the two bodies in contact. As the two bodies with significantly different temperatures are left in contact, it can be observed that the hot body becomes cooler while the cold body becomes hotter. This is because of the heat transfer taking place between the two bodies. After some time, the change in temperature for both bodies stops. This occurs when both bodies have reached the same temperature. Why does this happen and how is this related to today's topic? Well, let's find out. In our example, the transfer of heat stops when a thermal equilibrium is established between the two bodies. A system is said to be in thermal equilibrium when the temperature of the system does not change with time and this temperature is the same throughout the entire system. Just like thermal equilibrium, there are mechanical and chemical equilibriums. A system is said to be in mechanical equilibrium when there are no unbalanced forces acting within the system or between the system and the surroundings. In such an equilibrium, the pressure is the same at all points in the system and it does not vary with respect to time. On the other hand, a system is said to be in chemical equilibrium when there is no chemical reaction taking place in the system. The chemical composition is the same throughout the system and does not change with respect to time. A system which has attained all the three equilibriums is said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium. In simpler terms, a system is said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium when the temperature and pressure is the same at all points in the system and there is no chemical reaction taking place within the system or between the system and the surroundings. That's all for thermodynamic equilibrium. Now let's move on to our next topics which are state, path and process. We know that the condition of a system varies from time to time. The most common example is the environment. Considering the environment as a system, the environmental conditions never stay the same. In thermodynamics, the condition of a system at a given point of time is termed as a state. In simpler terms, each unique condition of a system is called a state. We know that a system passes through several states to reach an equilibrium. Moreover, a system passes through several more states in order to move from one equilibrium to another. The chain of states passed through by a system as it moves from one equilibrium state to another is called the path covered by the system. And when a system goes through changes from one thermodynamic state to another due to changes in properties like pressure and temperature, then the system is said to have undergone a thermodynamic process. There are two types of thermodynamic processes, namely non-flow process and flow process. In a non-flow process, only energy enters and leaves through the boundaries of the system. On the other hand, in the flow process, both mass and energy enter and leave through the boundaries of the system. With this, we'll bring the session to a halt. Today, we talked about thermodynamic equilibrium, state, path and process. In our upcoming videos, we'll discuss more topics based on thermodynamics. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to like this video. For staying updated with our new content, press subscribe and don't forget to press the bell button. This is Skilling and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.